September 9. Pinball. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. 1 Corinthians 15.33 You may be surprised to learn that pinball was once outlawed in many major American cities. Elected in 1933, New York City Mayor Fiorella LaGuardia made his crusade against pinball a major issue of his mayoral campaign. He believed that the millions of dollars being earned each year by the pinball industry came out of the pockets of school children in the form of nickels and dimes given them as lunch money. At the time, playing pinball was considered gambling. In its early days, pinball was a game of chance and prizes, ranging from free games to gum, jewelry, and dinner plates, were awarded to winners. The first coin-operated pinball machines were manufactured in 1931, but it wasn't until 1947, when flippers were added, that pinball became a game of skill. For decades, pinball machines were associated with vice, dishonesty, and bad behavior among school-aged children. Schools argued that pupils were skipping school to play and were wasting money that would otherwise be used for much-needed food. It would be easy to look at this as a sign of the nation's puritanical past, a relic of a narrow-minded, old-fashioned age. But if we think again, we might recognize that not only was Mayor LaGuardia right to be concerned about gambling, but also his misgivings, intentional or otherwise, were actually based upon solid biblical principles. Paul's direct counsel to the Corinthian church was, Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. It is imperative for Christians to remember the power of influence and association. Some activities serve as gateways to other, less savory enterprises. Children and adults are strongly influenced by those with whom they associate. It might be that many seemingly innocuous activities are not as inconsequential as society believes. A spiritual enemy has been diligently studying human behavior for 6,000 years and has by now succeeded in causing us to see sin as being much less serious than it is. While the dangers of pinball can be debated, what isn't debatable is the need for believers to live lives that are committed to Christ, lives in which temptation is avoided rather than courted.